Hey there, I'm Nikki, and today's video is all about eggs. Please stay tuned all the way through as there is information that can really benefit you. Before, I used to feel good about choosing free range eggs, but then later on I found out the truth and realized that free range just isn't the answer. I now choose not to eat any eggs, including free range, organic, or eggs laid in your back garden. So here's why. The eggs that people eat are the unfertilized eggs that hens ovulate. A wild hen lays between 10 to 15 eggs per year, whereas a domesticated hen has been bred over time to lay around 260 to 300 eggs every year. That's almost 20 times more than they would naturally. This genetic manipulation results in many fatal disorders of their reproductive organs and their bones. Since hens utilize the calcium in their bones to produce eggs, hens end up getting severe osteoporosis. They become prisoners inside their own bodies. If given the chance, hens like to eat their own eggs, which allows them to regain the calcium and nutrition that they have lost in their bodies. Many people believe that animals aren't killed in egg production, but in fact thousands of newborn male chicks are killed every day by the egg industry. Since billions of hens are bred to lay eggs, the male chicks that are born are considered useless to the egg and meat industry, since they do not lay eggs and they were not bred with enough muscle to be sold as meat. Some of the common killing methods include electrocution, grinding them up alive, gassing them, or suffocation, and all of these methods are completely legal. All egg industries buy chicks from breeders that kill male chicks. Mother hens are naturally really protective of their nests. They sometimes go without food to protect their chicks. Hens used for breeding for the egg industry have their unhatched eggs stolen from them and their chicks never see their mothers. The unhatched chicks are taken to industrial hatcheries where they are incubated in metal drawers. When the scared baby chicks are born, they chirp endlessly for their mothers. At just a few days old, the female chicks are de-beaked with a hot blade to prevent them from pecking each other, which they do out of frustration when they are kept in intensive confinement. It's a painful experience as their beaks are very sensitive. Despite what we've been led to believe, free-range farms are not what we think they are. Hens are kept in overcrowded barns amongst their own excrement, rife with disease and death. They get little or no access to sunlight or the outdoors, and there is no legal definition for free range. Eggs coming from battery farms are often marketed as fresh eggs. Birds are kept in cages the size of an A4 sheet of paper. Usually there are between 4 to 10 birds per cage. The hens in lower cages get covered in all the feces and urine from the hens above them. They have no access to grass or straw, so their natural instincts like nesting scratching are all denied. Many get sick, diseased and die, while hen corpses are left to rot amongst the live hens. Whatever the label says, fresh, organic, free range, all egg production involves the culling of male chicks, intensive confinement and hens being slaughtered after 18 months. Where there is money to be made, they are treated as economic units. I used to think that keeping hens in your back garden was the ideal kind of solution. The problem is, unless hens are rescued, they will be coming from an industrial breeder that kills the male chicks. Furthermore, the hens will still suffer from health problems caused by the high volumes of eggs that they have been bred to lay. Keeping chickens in exchange for eggs only perpetuates the mentality that animals belong to us and that they must provide us with goods in order for us to appreciate them. When in reality, they are sentient individuals with their own purposes in life. Some years ago, my family even kept some rescued hens, which had come from a battery farm, when they arrived, the chickens were in a sorry state, many were featherless and their combs used to hang down over their faces. But it was a nice thing to see them finally able to enjoy the simple freedoms that they had been denied for so long, like flapping their wings and enjoying the sunlight. They all had different personalities. Now I only wish that I hadn't eaten their eggs at the time. Never has there been more scientific research on the effects of animal foods and our health. 
Eggs contain significantly high amounts of cholesterol and saturated fat, which promotes heart disease, atherosclerosis, erectile dysfunction, strokes and more. According to the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, we do not need to consume any dietary cholesterol since our bodies already produce it and eating a variety of plant foods will help us to raise our good cholesterol. The Harvard Nurses Health Study was a 35 year long study involving more than 100,000 middle aged women showed that the number one cause of death was heart disease showing that dietary cholesterol was an extremely high risk factor for mortality. The study showed that eating just a single egg a day could cut a woman's life short as much as smoking five cigarettes a day for 15 years. In the description box below I've linked some videos by nutritionfacts.org for more info about the health risks of eggs. Did you know that it is illegal to advertise eggs as nutritious, healthy or even safe as it would be considered misleading according to the USDA? Eggs come from the same hole where the feces, urine and other fluids come from. Do you really want to be eating something that comes from a hen's bottom? Giving up eggs does not mean that you have to give up your favourite foods. Instead of scrambled eggs, you could make some tofu scramble or an omelette made with chickpea flour. You can make some incredible hard boiled or fried vegan eggs. There's so many different egg replacers out there to use for baking. You could even simply use a mashed banana or some ground flax seeds mixed with water. The possibilities are endless and will only be better for you in the long run. Chickens are smart, social, sensitive animals who deserve a much better life. Do them a favour and just cut out the eggs. Cutting out eggs will only improve your health, it will benefit the animals and it will reduce your impact on the environment. So thank you for sticking with me all the way through this video. If you found this informative and it helped you to make a more informed choice, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and post me your comments and questions below and I'll be happy to get back to you. So have a great day. Peace.